Thank you. Um, I guess, uh, well, thank, thank you, Stephen, for the invitation to uh, contribute this evening. Um, I think it's really more of an introduction more than anything I'll be doing. But just before I introduce, um, I'd like to give a little context. Last time I was here it was for a Freddie Yarnak, and it was a performance which had quite a cacophony of elements, but it was underpinned by a, a squid, which was, um, which was pinned under the, the grand piano. And that squid, the compressed body of which became, I guess, the contribution to this book, this sort of the imprint of the body and its own ink. And when that book um, or the, the body is impressed in the pages, there's a certain symmetry between them. And it had a very, very direct reference to uh, Rorschach tests um, and the images that they're um, made from this sort of random ink blocks. So I was thinking this evening, what will I do? What will I do with the Rorschach test? Um, for a, a performance tonight. And I started looking into this with the history and the relationships. Where did it come from? And um, it's, it's fascinating the, the kind of parallels and connections between the visual arts and poetry. Um, just in this corner in the mid 19th century, really was one of the earliest protagonists of the, uh, what was called clexography, um, and using ink blots to determine and to create his poetry. So, that um, and other sort of uh, plexographic works certainly influenced um, uh, Herman Rauschau. And um, so I thought this evening um, perhaps it would be interesting to, uh, to actually um, assess perhaps the mind behind the Illumination series, Stephen Fowler, mm -hmm. using uh, a series of uh, squid Rauschau tests to, to undertake that. <coughs> I've uh, invited um, Dr. Mark DeSottles, who is a clinical psychologist and the, uh, the vice president of the, uh, the British Rorschach Society. And so without further ado, I'll let Mark contextualize his work and undertake an assessment of Stephen. Thank you. Good evening. As um, David said, my name is Mark Isotel. I'm a clinical psychologist. I normally work in the NHS, and my area of specialty is mentally disordered offenders. So this evening, assessing Stephen will be a real delight. <laughs> I'm really very much looking forward to, to this. Um, I should say we, we call it, what we're going to do this evening, the Rorschach test. But as the vice president of the society, I have some responsibility in saying, this is not the Rorschach test. It's a Rorschach-inspired performance, I suppose we could call it. The Rorschach test is actually pretty serious. It's a series of ink blots, but it's, um, it's a standardized test. It's a standardized assessment. So what we're doing this evening is not the Rorschach test, but inspired by. So, <laughs> so I'll be showing Stephen the other series of five blots. And I should add that you haven't seen the blocks. No, no. Okay. And we'll show them later on the screen. Is that right? Okay. I think we'll leave the, the pages here. All we'll oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Should I okay. set or should we set? Um, as you wish. Yeah, I'm happy to just that. Yes, no. Okay. The Rorschach test is normally done in two phases, but this evening we'll do it just in one. So normally there's a first part, which is a free association, and where I collect all the answers. And then in the second part, ask the person to tell me what it was about the blot that made them tell me what, what they saw, and, and also where on the blot it was. So normally, the first question I will ask, what might this be? Uh, the first thing that I see is uh, maybe a mask. I mean, it's face-like, but it, it's not quite a face. There's something covering it. Um, and then when I lose focus from the center, I see... Actually, let's do with the mask for a minute. Okay. Show me the mask. Okay, so I see two eyes here. Mm -hmm. I see kind of nasal dots mm -hmm. here. Something that maybe like a beard here. And something kind of flanking the mask, like fake hair maybe. Or, or like a helmet around it. So it definitely reminds me of a face, but it isn't a face somehow. It's slightly menacing as well, I would say. It reminds me maybe of a carnival mask. So, so are you using the white part as well? Yeah, I think the negative space in the middle actually drew my, my attention foremost uh, being beneath what I take to be kind of eyes that are quite prominent. 
to the eyes of the eat. They're yeah. right in the middle. I almost see these as eyelashes or, or, or eyebrows. Okay. Are you somebody who's introspect a lot? Um, uh, I think so, yeah, to my detriment. I try to stop mm. my thoughts rushing. I think that might be a definition of introspection. I don't know. Mm. Are you an angry man? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I would say that I, I do have an anger problem. But I, I think I do quite a good job of controlling it. Okay, well, I'm well, glad that's 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 <laughs> So yeah, that would be my first, the first thing I see, is, is the face. And then outside of that... So are you seeing it in the whole of the block, or I, just a part? Yeah, I think it, at first I'm only really seeing the middle. I can see how these, these edges are really definitive in terms mm -hmm. of the negative space of the page, but somehow they're secondary to me. And now that I kind of widen my focus uh, and allow my kind of vision to roam a bit, then it feels maybe like an insect, or there's something medical about it. Mm. I mean, I, if I'm honest, I have to say I see kind of fallopian tubes. Um, <laughs> Interesting. Um, What's on your mind? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, indeed, you, you tell me. You tell me. Doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's what I would say. The symmetry yeah, makes me think of that, a, an internal diagram of a woman's body. That's what I see. Um, I see two faces looking at each other. Well, I see two people, two bodies, upper bodies, chest up, um, eye to eye. Um, they are androgynous to me. I don't think they're gendered particularly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're, they're staring at each other, but it's not negative or confrontational. There's something kind of positive about it. So human movement, cooperative. Yeah, I see something there that is kind of uh, like, um, I'm trying to think, what's the, the two-faced god, Janus? Is mm -hmm. the two-faced god, the twin, looking in opposite directions, but looking towards each other? Okay, so there's an element of uh, cooperation, uh, and I noticed the previous answer was a human form, or human answer, uh, and in this case, they're cooperating. So I suspect the way you see human relationship in general is in a positive manner. I don't know about that, but that sounds good. Let's <laughs> <laughs> hope that's, 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 that's the truth. Excellent. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> uh, the first thing I see is a crab. Oh. Yeah, Excellent. I see a crab, uh, the shell of a crab. Mm -hmm. um, there's something about the tonation of the black with the ink as it starts to fade out that makes me feel like it's in perspective. Like it all, Really looks like the outside shell of a, of a crab, and then the, the shapes here of the, the kind of. Foot. So where do you see the perspective? Well, a, as the color kind of fades out, it mm. almost feels like as you would see something that would be horizontal, you would see it differently in depth. Okay. So it seems quite definitively that to me. Um, and then I suppose that shape uh, evokes a brain a little bit. Okay. Or the shape of a so that's for me again. Yeah, yeah. It's good health. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's what I would say that I see. And then specific details. There's something facial about it a little bit. Okay. The position here, I would say these marks being perhaps eyes and this being kind of like a childish rendition of a smile. Okay, so again you're using the white space. Yeah, the negative space in the centre seems to be quite definitive in this one. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Doctor. It's <laughs> always a bad word. Thank you. Okay, so I see something in insect in this one, like a beetle, maybe okay. a dumb beetle. I should have said that, but I did. You did? Yeah. Um, yeah, I see the shell, the carapace of a beetle somehow, seen from above. Okay. Maybe these are wings. Um, and this is the back. Again, the negative space mm -hmm. is kind of part of that form. And then these might be markings upon that. Oh, yes, yes. yes. So, I haven't um, seen it myself yet. Yeah, can see it now. Good. Um, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, that's my first first thing that I see. Okay. Um, Most people you see more than one thing in a glass. Yeah, I, maybe an animal space in this case. Okay. Maybe a cow or a pig. No, probably a cow, I would say. Eyes. The nostrils, quite definitively, mm -hmm. the ears, 
this maybe doesn't fit in with that, but they, yeah, that, that's what I would say. Something animal about them. Excellent. And our last point for this evening. Okay. Hmm. What do I say in that? This one's difficult. Hmm. There's nothing that immediately strikes me. It has touches of things that I believe I've seen in the others before. Yeah. Something to do with an insect, maybe. Maybe a moth. That's maybe slightly forcing that. Crab too, so the crustacean a little bit, but again it feels quite insectoid to me. These maybe they're very reminiscent of wings and the way you see kind of the translucency of wings and knots, but it doesn't necessarily it makes it translucent. Just the fading of the ink, I think. Yeah. The depth of that black and then once it moves out into grey. There's nothing else I really see in that one. That was quite a difficult one for me. I don't know why. Hmm. So again you you think most of the form? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying, but I can't see much more than that one. Yeah. I mean, usually people who see formats tend to be the kind of the safest answer to give. Right, right. Because it doesn't reveal too much right, right. about yeah. you. I want to reveal things, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we had a number of themes this evening. We've had a, quite a number of human content. We had also some animal content. We had some movement. Um, not that much. There was the staring, which we, call pass which we call passive movement. So maybe you're more of a dreamer rather than some than a doer. It's possible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm glad that there was some human content because at least it shows a positive disposition towards people. At least if it's supposed to brawl chapter, that's probably what I would conclude. Right. Um, and in general, your, your answers were you, you try to solve problems because they obviously complex pictures. And you try to make them work. So sometimes you'll take in a lot of information and try to make it work well, even though sometimes it doesn't all fit in the, in the picture. Yeah. So sometimes you might cut corners. Or yeah, that's probably true as well. I would say anything yeah. you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with you because that will reveal something else. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Excellent. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs>